Students at Tifero School got a treat yesterday when the theatre came to them in the form of Hinipo, a play based on the mythical story about respecting your environment and staying true to yourself. Blending theatre, te reo, song and dance, a packed hall of enthralled students were taken on a journey when Hinipo is cast out of her tribe and sent to live alone in the forest. The play is adapted from the classic children's book written by Gavin Bishop and first published in 1993. The story is about a girl who doesn't seem to fit in with her hapu. Her hair is bright red, her eyes are deep green, and all her weaving is inside out and back to front. Though she tries to hide her differences, her tribe decide Hinipo must be a witch and send her to live alone in the forest. But when disaster strikes the village, Hinipo may just be the only one who can save them. Amanda Noblet, who plays Hera, said she was happy to be able to incorporate some dance into the play, along with the singing and acting, as she has done a lot of dance in Kapahaka as a student of Fitiera Performing Arts in Wellington, where she was a student. My character Hera, she's a little bit of a follow the cool guys, so um, throughout the, the mahi, throughout the work, Hera is not so very nice to Hinepo and it is pretty obvious that she is following the boys um, to look cool, I guess. Um, however, a little bit of a two-face, um, and I mean, I don't enjoy that about my character, however, I can play it really well. Describing her character, Kimberly Skipper said Hinipo is a bit weird, but the message is that it's okay to be different. All she wants is just to be normal like them, and she wants to fit in with them, but they're not, they find her quite the weirdo. But it's okay to be weird. You can be whoever you like. You are one of a kind, just like Hinepo. Reuben Butler said his character Rua thinks he is the man, but he destroys the land, bringing despair. He is graciously saved by Hinepo, who teaches him how to lead his people with mana. There is a message to be yourself and to look after others and the earth and sea, he said. Uh, today I played Rua, who is a overprivileged young Māori male who's next in line to be the rangatira. Um, he obviously is just thinks he is the man and is not the man. So um, he goes to cut down a tōtara tree without doing a proper karakia with a tohunga, um, in turn destroying all the land in the whenua, um, bringing despair to the people and to the whenua. Jeremy Davis said that even though it is in te reo, Māori, the kids still understood the jokes. It's all about um, tikanga and um, as Māori people we karakia to our kai, to our moana, to our trees. and uh, Yeah, it's just something that they can hold on to and just uh, keep it up, yeah. Hini Po is produced by Takirua, New Zealand's oldest Māori theatre company based in Wellington.